illegal, wouldn't it? Yeah. But there'd be no need for prostitutes if the missus is up to scratch. That's what I say. I know what you mean. Uh, I don't know, get it. Absolutely. Now, uh, Kirsty, are you there, Kirsty? Oh, yes, I am. Kirsty in Lancaster. Hello. Hello, love. Oof, you've got me well tonight, Ned. Why is that? Oh, well, first of all, prostitution should be legalised. Why? Because, again, the lady said about the taxes, but the amount of money taxpayers spend on prosecuting prostitutes, that would save thousands to go on proper, worthwhile uh, criminal justice causes. So, if we legalised it... Yeah, we could get the tax off the, the prostitutes. And stop paying to put them through the system. These women are victims. Who's a victim? The prostitutes. Not at all, love. They love it. No, they're not. They must do. You know, or they wouldn't you, do it. You said it before, right? Didn't you say that, um... A lot of them are... Child and rapists. Yes. And all those are sex crimes, and yet prostitution isn't. It is a sex crime, but the emphasis is on the women. That's the only difference. Yeah, but the women must love doing it, or they wouldn't do it. How can they love doing it? Well, why do it? Because they have to. Who has because to? Because they've been forced out, neglected, onto the street, in situations that you and I could possibly not imagine, and forced to sell the body. And the reason why prostitution exists is because men want it. It's as simple as... No, no, it. no. Men only... No, men, it is no, no. Men, men only use it because it's there, man. No, like. no, no. I men mean, if prostitution wasn't there, there they want it. if okay, prostitution it's... wasn't there, the men would, uh, would probably uh, put a bit more energy into their marriages. If men didn't want it, the politicians would have stamped it out a long time ago. It's those type of people that do it. It's take these young girls off the street, back into some seedy hotel, and molest them. Because what it is, is molest... Don't tell me that these girls enjoy selling their bodies. They don't. Well, they must do, or they wouldn't they do don't. it. It's a form of molestation. And it's a power trip for men. It has always been a power trip for men. Well, I can't see why, love, because, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't see why a man should have to pay for sex at all. Why shouldn't they have to pay for sex? Well, there's stacks of it about for nothing. Why, why shouldn't they have to? You take everything else from us as a woman. You sound as if... You, 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 you sound as if... You sound as if you've got a bit of a problem. Bear our children. You bear our children. Yes. Feed you. Look after you. Pamper you. And then give you sex on top but of it. But that's a woman's okay. job. That's a woman's job. It's not a woman's job. That's why women it are put on the earth. It's not a woman's earth. job. Yes, it why, is. Why, 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 was, why is a woman put on the earth then? To actually live, believe it or not. Yes, well, that's living. To provide a fulfilling role in society that men have never let us carry out. They stop us from getting all the top positions in power. Rubbish. Please? Rubbish. How many, how many female politicians have we got? Oh, stacks of them. Not enough. Yeah, the House of Lords and the House of Commons are stuffed with them. 50, 50? No. Well, I mean, you wouldn't want to 50, 50. Why not? Eh? Because prostitution would be wiped out then. If we had an equal say in everything we did, Listen, we wouldn't be a skill down the road. Listen, remember that prostitution only exists because women want it. No, but men want it, sweetheart. You no, it's all, sweetie. No, no, the men. No, men the men. It's a power trip. No, you're, you're it's, not a power, it's not a power trip. It Listen, is how can it be a power trip if you've got to fork out cash? Because they, they can buy it. The sense of buying something gives you power. Nonsense. No, if you get it the for nothing, get it for nothing. Gives but you power. Why the point get it for nothing? Get if it. you can get it anywhere. Get it for nothing. They pay for it. They yeah. pay for it. Well, exactly. I mean, if the, women, if the women were doing the job, there'd be no need for prostitutes. If they could get it anywhere, they would. Well, they can. Well, it doesn't explain my... Well, that's their fault, isn't it, really? Eh? Hey? It's their fault, isn't it, really? If they can't get it anywhere, but they go buy it. If they can get yeah, it anywhere, like you say they can. It would need to be really, why would they really... Buy it? Well, well because, because they're daft. They're daft. They're only buying it, as I said, it's a power trip. charity to keep the girls going. It's got nothing to do with that. It's a power trip. Not at all. What it's kind of power, place. excuse me, what kind of power trip, right, with some sad pap going out hey, paying... Excuse me, you're so insulting the ladies of the street here. No, I'm not talking... They deserve more respect I'm, I'm not talking about the ladies, I'm talking about the bloke, right? Some sad pap going out there paying, paying 20 quid, right? And you see the girl's not really bothered in it. She's only doing it for the money. So what, what, where's the power trip in that? The power trip is because they can't do it at home. The power it's trip is going into the house and shouting to the missus, yeah. Are you up for it, love? But they can't. Says, yeah. Not in situations. That that's, a, that's a power trip. Family situation is where men lose power. Outside oh. of the home, 
Women, they get the power by Mama's, buying sex. Listen, if man, if man, look, the man is king of the jungle, right? That's no. bollocks. Absolutely. <laughs> no. The man is king of the jungle. No. If the man, <laughs> right? Now, if the man is, is not in charge of his own home, you know, where is he in charge? So, I mean, how do you mean? He's in the street. That's why he goes out and buys sex. Rubbish. Listen, listen, no man, no man who's on a power trip would pay for sex. Well, why that, do any politicians do it then? Eh? Why do politicians do it? Well, politicians are only some of them do it, not all of them. Well, why do some of them do it? If these well, some of them do it because po guys well, some of them do it. Listen, listen, some of them do it because being a politician, right, <laughs> doesn't mean that you have to be some sort of asexual freak. Right? <laughs> and politicians, no, no, no. politicians represent a cross section of society. Of so course. they're going to have they're going to it. have they're going to have sexual weaknesses <laughs> the same as other people. No. <laughs> men are not sexually weak. You know what you're saying? Men no, are I'm saying yes, people yes, people yes, have men no, no, are no, no, sexually no. weak. No, I never said that. I said politicians. <laughs> right? <laughs> politicians, <laughs> right? See it's all very well for you to mock and do, but this is important. I politicians. You're treating it. You're treating it as light-hearted. You're, you're just taking. You're just taking the mince out of it all. Why wouldn't I? You're not serious about it. I am totally serious. I'm not you know, serious about it. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to explain to you how the world works, <laughs> and you're just laughing your head off. No, yeah, because it's from a male perspective. You're viewing it from a male perspective. No, no, no. I'm viewing it from a male perspective. No, 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 I'm viewing it, I'm viewing no, it from a wrong. practical perspective. No, it's not working for you, so it's No, not. what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I can't understand, right, why a woman would want to go on the game unless that's what she wants to do as a career. Because men pay for it. Because men want it, because they're... So are you saying that women are so weak, right, that that's all they can do? If men want it, they'll do it. Why not? Men do everything for money. Men no. chase a barn around on a pitch for money. That's not prostitute yourself, I don't know what is. So what you're saying is footballers are the same as prostitutes? Yeah, if, you, if someone of this world is out for money, now these girls are doing what they can to survive on the street. Oh, that that's is. taking men. They don't need to do money. that, they've got the doll. Fine, well you try raising two kids on how much money it is. Well I've been signing on, no, there's no problem, I've got buying £34.50 a week. Oh, so that was more expensive than 34 quid a week to raise two children. Yes, I mean, you know, obviously, but that's gone up now. You get your child allowance. The trouble is a lot of these, a lot of these women can't uh, uh, hack it. They don't know how because to. A lot of these women have come from poor educational backgrounds that don't have the chances that other people. Well, what you're saying is yourself it, sitting in that seat have. So what it, you're saying? Well, well, I'm from a very ordinary background, but I mean the thing is, what you're saying then is, if we educated the women, they would come off the game. No, if they had, they had a child. I don't think anyone chooses. That road. Well, there must they're be there's hundreds and thousands of them out there. Because there's there are hundreds of thousands of abused and neglected children that run away onto the streets and find this is the only way. So what play. you're saying is every prostitute is a, an abused That's and neglected every child. But there are circumstances for why those people end up on the street and why they end up selling themselves. And it is usually more often than not because they've been abused by the system, by the parents. Uh, a family friend? Yeah, but wait a minute, hang, hang on, you've got all this abuse. If I'd been abused sexually by a friend, a family friend, or a parent, or whatever, the last thing I'm going to do is go on the game. Why not? Is that let, how you know? And let people abuse me. If your body has been used for a token like that, and it's all you know, why would you not use it as an incentive to make money? Well, in other words, what you're saying is, what you're saying is, they've not got any other talents. But they don't, because they were too young at the time to realise it. So what you're saying is, if somebody's been beaten about, then they're going to make their living by uh, letting people beat them. But yeah, because it's, it's the only thing they know. Can't understand it's where you're coming from It's a from cycle, there. a vicious cycle that they cannot get out of. So they're in other words, you, so you say... They're on the street, they have no money, they have no food to eat, they go into a system of abuse, prostitution, So you they say, can't get out because the, the money is that poor that they don't have time and the hours are regular they don't have time to better themselves and they're stuck like that and people in the liberalist and goody goody two shoes and are basically saying oh, oh all they need is a bit of this and a bit of that it's no good because well, you that's what's happened problem. that's what's happened by allowing escort agencies to advertise on the telly hey, yes do that. and showing violent films sure there's more violence on the news believe me i watch columbine 
for three hours on CNN and I saw and heard gunshots. So don't tell me about violence because I've seen it first hand. Mm. I've seen them bury 14 children and a teacher. I watched it live. Mm. So I know about violence on TV. Think we should put a stop to that then? <laughs> it happens in the real world. Yeah, but do not think the real world is just reflecting the telly, or no, the telly is reflecting... No, I think the reflecting the real world, to be quite honest. The more I hear about gun crimes in Manchester, I'm scared. The more that I send my brother off to school every day, and I think, well, is one of his classmates going to take a gun and start shooting up his fellow classmates? But what about the real world where the, the lambs are gambling in the fields, and people are, are walking along sandy beaches and enjoying the seaside? Too. But just don't... I mean, is that, is that part of the violent the violent part of society. There is a violent part of society. Well, how do, we, how do we put a stop to that, then? How do... Is there a stop? There's been violence in the human history for... Well, isn't it time to put a stop to it, then? No, yeah, because it'll never happen. Well, of course it will. It will happen if you put a stop to it, won't it? It's it is completely unrealistic. I don't think it's unrealistic at all. Peace. In the no. world will happen ever. Of course, I don't it's think... It's survival of the fittest, mate. And whoever gets there at the top, and whoever... What's ever left of the planet by the time we finish destroying it will be the ones that survived and fought for it. That is as plain and simple as it comes. Do you not think you're sometimes a little bit negative? I'm not negative, I'm realistic. I don't think so at all. I think you're talking out your backside. No, I'm realistic. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, the world. the world's better now than it's ever been. Right, we've eradicated a good whack of disease. Right, we've got, uh, in this country, we've got a steady economy. We've got uh, top, top class socialist government. In this country, oh, look at how fortunate we are. In Mozambique, they've just been washed out by floods. Yeah, they haven't been. The international community, a week to do anything about. Sure. In the Sierra Leone, they're having a civil war. They evacuated yeah. British citizens. Yeah. Very nice of them, that is. Yes. You know, so you tell me when peace all over the world's going to happen, and I'll tell you that. No, peace will only happen all over the world if you get quality leaders and never do once peace. The quality leaders, there's too many different political systems in the world. No, you can't just and have I one do. political system for the whole world, can you? Well, well we do not work in peace, will it? Look at the Cold War, America. Well, that, it? That's all gone. So now? Yeah, now it has. It's finished. Yeah, and now the third world's kicking off. Don't yeah. think that it's not going to happen again. Well, what's Please, that? don't be that naive. Well, what's that to do with prostitutes? <laughs> Nothing but you told me there, mate. Hey? <laughs> Nothing but you told me there. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you like at all. You're all over the place, you. Oh, you told me there. Hey? You told me there. I'll tell you. I can argue you to the death, my friend. Hey? I will argue you to the death. Argue to the death? <laughs> you, 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 to the rubbish you talk, I don't know. I'm rubbish, yeah, this is a position you. Yeah. You don't have to talk rubbish, but the thing is, I'll tell you something. <laughs> You'd find that if these girls decided to come off the street... They don't decide to go on the street. It happens. No, well, it doesn't happen. They've oh, decided, they've chosen it as a career. <laughs> the career. The career people. You asked them if they, if they went at seven years old, oh, by the way, I want to be a prostitute. No, I don't think at that. I mean, I think, I think at 15, 16, they think, oh, this is easy cash. Easy <laughs> cash? Oh, yeah. And I think, I think... I think you... old man sit there, what an opium is not easy money, believe me. Well, I mean, uh, that seems to be. I mean, they don't, they don't, I think it's dreadful, actually. Well, it is dreadful, but it's a state of affairs, and you yeah, but I think if the, I, it, well, it's really for it, make it go well, away. I think if the wives and the girlfriends did more of the stuff, off, then, uh, you know, the prostitution would just stop like that, just like that. Uh, yeah, because after 22 hours a day looking after your children, feeding you, and whatever else we have to do, wash your back to you, and wipe your backside most of the time. Oh, you can still have it. You can still have it. You can still Oh, for goodness sake. So what you're saying is there's no point in having a girlfriend or getting married because yeah, they're not up to Don't use prostitutes, because uh, that would make you so much more happier. Yeah. That's what you want. So what you're, saying, what you're saying, saying is that women just can't hack it. Oh, I can say women hack a lot more than you women are, women, are, women are not up to scratch is what you're saying oh excuse me we are very up to scratch well I mean for heaven's sake look, 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 I can tell you something 22 hours down a mine and the husband can still come in and perform but the woman goes oh I've got a headache <laughs> I don't I know. I can see a man perform after 22 hours on the job. I really will. No, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think you should swap. I think it should be a national husband and wife swap day and reverse roles, and we'll see who wants sex then, shall we? I think we should see I, who I, wants I, sex I, then, I and I'll guarantee you it won't be the man. I think you're quite bizarre, like. <laughs> I think you really are quite bizarre. Yeah, you know I'm right, though, Scotty. That's not problem. at all. Of course you're not. I'm right. I've never had so much. Every woman who listens to this, uh, this radio station knows I'm right, too. 
Hey? Every woman who listens to this radio station knows that I'm a... You're victimizing the women. Well, I'm not victimizing. I'm trying to right help them. I'm trying to bring a bit more life and joy into the marriage. I'm trying to show the women <laughs> where, where they're going wrong. Have you ever had sex, mate? The, <laughs> the what, love? Have you ever had sex? Because... That have, I ever had, have I ever had sex? Excuse me. <laughs> the bills in the woods. Hey? Am I on the lad's sex? Oh, I don't know. Two minutes of pleasure does not count for out to 22 well, hours of work. Well, of course, sorry. of course it's a pleasure. Otherwise, oh, you know, you wouldn't do it. Men find it a pleasure because they don't have to do the work for that. Men do all the work. The women just don't lie there and think of England. Yeah, for the two minutes that they're there. Yeah, for the two minutes then, because that's all the women can cope with. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's the thing, the men would go all night. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I've heard that one before. No, no, I think, I think what you've got to do, the women need to wise up and uh, you'd find them. The, the, pro the prostitutes would disappear like snow off a dike. What would you, you know prostitutes then, what about them? You don't need to, I mean the thing is, you do not need to pay for sex, I can't understand. They do. No, they don't. They do. No, they I don't. They don't believe they need to, they do. No, they, they don't. I mean, I can't, I what, what, why, why would a man ever a need to pay for sex. I don't because he's not satisfied at home because he exactly, hasn't got the power of Exactly because the missus is not delivering. Not sexually. Yes. The not missus sexually. the missus is not Powerful. delivering. She might be great when it comes to carpets and cottons, but when it comes to the one two buckle my shoe in the sack, she can't deliver. You know, what it is, it's because women say no. Because the married woman has the sense to say no. These poor girls they don't get a choice. All right, yeah, love. We'll see. It. We'll see what everybody else thinks. Hey, okay. It's been <laughs> jolly good to talk to you. All right. Bye. I, I, I like you because you've got a bit of spice about you. <laughs> hey, think you do, love. Think you do. Think you do.